Okay, here is the final product of a productive Sunday. Very productive Sunday. Okay, y'all seen these other videos in this series. Who I've been rolling today. Um, time is it? It's about 9.37, roughly. So, I'm going to tell you what I've done. So, that's all together. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I've done 11 splices. Now, here's the 150, 53 foot. I mean, we have 53, 55. I'm just say 155 foot worth of rope. So, this is an extra climbing line. And for y'all who, who maybe didn't get the rest of this video, 45 bucks. All this rope I got for 15. All that. That was, I was able to make all those out. So, so basically for a total of 60 bucks, I got what I have here. And I just saved myself. On average, they charge 25 a splice. Oh, so you can see one, two, three, four. That's a hundred. That's another hundred right there. That's 150. And oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> 100, 150, and then 75. So. It's 275. I just saved myself by learning how to splice a little bit. Hey, what's up? I'm back on again. Hey, I just wanted to show you guys this how I do this um, part right here. I just use that chicken wire, and as you can see, I have to feed it through right there if it'll adjust. And I keep the tape on. I can go, I just open it up, feed it through there, and I keep me some pliers. But you can see I ran it all the way back through here because my feed it don't get but so far in there. So I can, if I can get it most of the way in, I go to extra be about a half a fit length um, or a short fit or whatever you want to call it so I can insert it in this part of the line and then I'll get the pliers and I'll slowly pull it through this way and that way it'll feed into the it'll be like inside that that and it'll be a little something like this but inside of it and um, you can see over there I got two ready to go I just gotta um, put those onto my little part over here got a little part right there you can see it um, real quick I've been splicing food today I've done in total four, five, six, and here's about to be seven, seven splices today, which is for an amateur, nobody like me, hey, doing it big, trying to anyway, but there you have it, um, we got one of the little lanyards, they can, it turned out really swell too, little 15 footers, Let's see, so I got my little 15 foot, little lanyard, got them on there, he can fit perfectly on a carabiner, I just got to whip it. So I'll be whipping all seven of these. And this is the 150 foot rope right here. And then I got two other carabiners. And here's what I did. I don't know if you noticed. But I got a short eye on that. And I got a long eye on that. And this is also a bigger eye. I did one with two big eyes. And then one with one big eye and one small eye. And then I did one or two with small eyes. I can't remember how I worked it out. Because I still got one more that I hadn't touched at all. That's a little eight foot piece here. So when I get those done and hopefully get them just stitched up i'll shoot one more video and um you can see what the total product or what the finished product is of the job yo what's up you're on me tree boy for life i just came across um again a really good buy again on the course where i'm always on craigslist i just picked up this tropical ivy um which is one of the hottest new um lineups as far as what Sherelle's offering also you know i climb with the surge which is the lava rope Pretty much, you know, double braid. Actually, this is more of like a, the lava's a double braid tachyon, but I was able to splice this tie-dye, super tie. I got to whip it up. I'll show you my little splicing station here. And then I got bunches more. I got like probably about four or five 15-foot lanyards over here and one 8-foot lanyard that I probably use as some kind of tie off or something. But all that stuff's ready. You can see where I did my work right there with the other stuff. And I... I meant to shoot a video before, but a lot of you guys, um, starting off this splicing, if you ain't got no real super kit, you see all I have here is one little fid, mainly that's all I use, one little pusher, which really I use to open the rope up with, you can use a screwdriver or something, as long as you don't tear the strands up, but I just basically made me a wire fid, out of chicken wire, stuff that like, I guess plumbers or, 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 or solid people will um, will do, that little wire, and I feed it through, Whenever I, wherever the fit comes out, when I'm doing probably about like that half fit mark coming out, that that last um, when you're feeding the core into the um, to the rope, I basically feed this in inside this way and pull the the rope through the same way you use the the fit. Y'all know, 
Y'all got a good idea about that so far, but here I go. But check this out. So we're going to take a walk. I basically was trying to see because I got it. I just got a good hookup. But I was trying to make sure that I had a um, what, I, what he said he gave me. I asked for a specifically 150 foot. Um, and we're going to keep going. But I got surprised. I mean, you know how sometimes... They get off, old man. I want to get it muddy. Brand new rope. All sitting in the mud on tires and stuff. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Okay. But I walk on out here. And you can see. Alrighty. So we looking good here. Okay. There's a Sherelle splice. And I actually think I did a better job than they did. Because it's like whoever spliced these... I don't know, with that tachyon, it's hard to splice, but with this, you can see it's just slightly longer. Probably about three foot longer, approximately. But you see the difference in how far the um, the core goes into the cover. You can kind of see it disfigured a little bit right there. And there is it is not how it used to be. It used to come down a little bit more, but I guess they trying to splice that tachyon again as a beast. But, I got this, I have to whip it, I'll probably whip it a little bit down here, or wherever it's easiest at, probably about right in there, be a little lower than that one, but hey, I'm not complaining, and you would not, ooh, there we go, all that, and of course, you know, I got that whipped up and everything, so it's looking pretty good, that's a nice little tagline right there, whatever I want to use it for, maybe cut it in half, make some more long langers out of it or something, but um, again, we going splicing crazy today it's sunday just chilling around doing nothing yo here's the finished product okay there's the 155 foot right here of the um tropical ivy both sliced um tight eye ends and a word of caution when you're doing your tight eye this is a super tight eye right here just maybe back out a few millimeters centimeters or whatever out kind of like how i did here i backed out Brought it down a little bit before so it wouldn't be so, so tight when you pull that core inside of the rope here. Now granted, try to make these as even as possible. You know, you got to be pretty hard trying to get it perfect. But you whipped, though, you know, I tried to get them as close as I could. But each exit part of the rope, try to do like that half fit at the end like they tell you to do. But depending on the eye size, too, it dif differentiates as far down as how thick this part will be to where you'll be able to splice. But that's still no big issue. Uh, I mean, at least be able to whip into your splice because it'll be so thick here but here you have it though here's the one lanyard here with the one big eye one tight single eye and um you can just put in that chair right there for me please thank you and then i have two tight eyes and i have the two larger eyes and again one more two tight eyes and then one um little eight footer just a single eye on one end and then the other end is just a empty so there you have it right there i'll let you later peace